Hello everybody, Cyanus111 here. It is still Halloween, and I am back playing some Mega Man Maker once more. In this session, as was foretold, I'm going to be playing some... Castlevania levels. Starting with Castlevania Level 3. With an ID of 43, 67, 18, 46 plays, and a score of 18. Looks like this one isn't going to be as long as usual, so it should be fine. It's over. Can I go here? Oh, no, I can't yet. I first have to go to the left. And see if there's a way in from the other side. Pikmin men are so annoying sometimes. And I cannot double jump. Um, as I've said in a previous part, the the Thunder Claw acts as a whip that the player character uses to defeat demons and other enemies. Oh, there's a bullet supposed to be coming in from behind. Oh, grenade. Yeah, I think Castlevania levels are quite fitting for Halloween, for Halloween parts in Mega Man Maker. At least I think they are. Castlevania can be a bit scary at times. Thought I was gonna jump over that checkpoint there, but apparently not. Ah. Uh. Ah. Da 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 da. I don't think you guys heard it. I think you guys heard it properly, but in case you didn't, I was singing the Castlevania Life Lost theme whenever the player dies. I've heard of what the player characters are, or who the player characters are in some of the games. In some of them, it would be Simon Belmont, but that's pretty much it. I know Simon Belmont as a player character in some of the games. That's all I know. Pharaoh Man. And you're weak to water. Ow. It was a risk, but it was for any tank. And guess what? Fair Man is down, although... I'm not quite so sure what kind of boss Fair Man was supposed to be, if he was even a boss at all. I'm unsure what he was supposed to represent. I like this though. I like this level. Next up is Castlevania Base Quest. ID of 43, 23, 28, 13 plays, and a score of 1. I think we're playing as base again, just like the last level.
And I can double jump, too. And this music is quite fitting for... for a Castlevania level with lots of action in it. Although, if I really wanted to have the full effect, then... I could mod some... I could mod some Castlevania music into Mega Man Maker, but... I'm still kind of worried that I would break my computer from doing so... at worst. I'd break the application at least, but I'm still afraid of my computer breaking because I have incorrectly modded something. Ah, no. Unhand me, foul creature. Oh, he's gonna swoop. He swooped. Silver Tomahawk does a whopper on him. Is that really it? Wow. Castlevania. Good level. I'd be willing to like it. Next up is Castlevania Level 1, with an ID of 43, 21, 13, 26 plays, and a score of 4. Again, it's looking like some of the... It's looking like one of the shorter levels that I've played, overall. And this time we're playing as Mega Man but we don't have the Thunderclaw weapon to use as our whip. And I can't slide. Ah. Can I charge? No, I cannot. Ah, heads. Heads will roll. Heads will roll. Have you heard that song? Off with your head To dance, dance, dance till you're dead The song is called Heads, uh, Heads Will Roll, but I don't exactly know who the artist is that made the song. I can't quite reach up there, so... I guess down here is where I should go next. Mega Buster's the only weapon I can use. Next set of doors. More of the off with your heads action. Ah, off with your head. Ah, uh, please, please checkpoint. Yes, checkpoint, and more health so I can see how I can fight this boss. Metal Man is the is the boss I'm up against this time, and he's guarding some. Uh, and he's guarding some useful items that I could get. Yeah. Going for the... Going for the health energy. Going for the... Health is the best bet. E-Tank is good too. I think I should save my E-Tank for the next time I fight Metal Man. If I die. Uh, almost got hit there. I got hit. But at least I'm better now.
Okay, don't forget, I have an E-Tank at my disposal if I'm in a dire situation. Okay, why don't you get out of the way? Up, up. Nope. Nope. Oh. I've got to. For the thanks for the health save, e tank. Really appreciate it. Another good Castlevania level. Next up is just simply Castlevania. Nothing special about this, other than it, that it has the level ID of. 426683, 24 plays, and a score of 6. And I get my Thunderclaw weapon back. Oop, don't cycle through these weapons. These cockroaches are... are very annoying enemies in Mega Man Maker. Okay, I don't have a boss battle yet. Thought I did for a second. Oh! Whoa! I didn't mean to fall down that pit, but apparently there's something here that I'm not aware of. Also, I didn't quite mean to accidentally skip out on the hot dog fight. I think defeating it might have been easy, given that at a certain point you just have to stand there and, and just hit it. And looky who we have here. Shade Man. What a surprise. I can reach up to the same height as you. Isn't that something to be afraid about? Yeah, I thought so. Shade Man is... is hot. And not in a way you would think. Shade Man is hot in terms that he's been appearing in my most recent Mega Man Maker videos to date. But will he appear in Castlevania Shade Man's Curse? Spoiler alert, yes he will, given the title. This level has an idea of 42, 29, 86, 28 plays, and a score of 1. I don't have the Thunderclaw weapon. I think that there can be something in Castlevania series where... where they function... where the weapons actually function the same as some of the weapons in the 
game in Mega Man Maker. Made it to a checkpoint. But health is not looking too good. Ah, I didn't see those bats there. Silver Tomahawk. Oops. Okay, much better. This time I noticed the bats. Oh, he threw that very far. I got an E-Tank too. Very nice. Come on. Okay, looking good. Checkpoint! But now I won't have to worry about going through all that again. Skullman is the boss of... I... So I have to... hit Skullman while he's above me. I see how it is. Oh dear. And I have to avoid all of those bones that the Skull Joes are throwing at me. Oh, this is... this isn't good. Thank goodness for that E-Tank, though. Almost there. Got him! No tadpoles. Oh, you can't. Please do not get me. The crow got me. But the damage was only minor. I thought you were gonna make me knock get knocked back into the spike pit. Ah. Uh. Looking good. I'm using the flame sword way less often than I should. Okay, I don't know how that how that happened. I don't know how I got that E-Tank, to be honest. But I better not let that get to my head. Oh man, I better not let any one of their heads hit me. Well, that just happened. But if I do get but if I did get hit by a head, then I better make sure I'm not over an area where it would make me fall into the pit. Bosses just keep on coming.
it's looking like Bearer Man isn't weak to, uh, to anything that I have. I have to. Using that E-Tank was for the greater good. I was getting very concerned that my health was going to become too low in order for me to even continue the fight in a functioning manner. Not this time. Ow. It's this thing, it's this thing again. Just... Please tell me I had a checkpoint after that Ferroman fight. Dang it! Uh, I'll be right back, everyone. Alright, it looks like I'm back to the part I died last. Okay, thank you. Can we grab that E-Tank? I actually had to use another E-Tank during that Ferroman fight. Uh. Come on. There we go. I was going to say I'm gonna go through that door if that... if that Skull Joe hadn't gone down. And I have hit another checkpoint. Very good. Well, well, well. Looks like we've met the King of the Throne. Shade Man. What's Shade Man weak to? So sure. He's sitting on his throne again. Oops. See daisies. Got turned into a statue again. Like Shade Man isn't weak to any of my weapons. Well, I guess I'll just have to continue avoiding his attacks until he's beaten. Ah, he's resting on his throne again. His attacks are gonna be harder to dodge than usual that way! Or maybe not. I might be wrong about this. I might have to use an E-Tank if my HP goes below a quarter. there. Got him! Castlevania. 
Halloween. They go very well together. I've gotta say. An error occurred. Well, perfect timing because I think this is where I'm gonna have to end this part off real quick and take a break before I get to Jet Hawk's requested levels. I'll be playing those in the next part. I bet you can't wait for that, huh? But until then, thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye!